everybody. Today I'm going to review the Olympia Tools 6 inch single hand quick release vise. This is model 38-647 and it does feature a unique design that's going to allow you to open it and close it very quickly and for the DIY or homeowner this may be a very good option for you. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually show you exactly how this works, how that actual mechanism works. Then we're going to mount it to the bench and see how it actually performs. Okay, first taking a look at the top of this, the anvil on the top is going to be perfectly flat. It's three and a half inches wide by about three and a half inches wide. So it does give you a fairly good space if you need to hammer out some sheet metal or use this to hammer on, you're going to be able to do that instead of having to use your concrete floor or your workbench and then chipping something up or damaging the bench itself. The jaws are going to be six inches wide and it's going to open up a maximum of five and a half inches. The throat depth is going to be two and one quarter inch. Now the unique feature about this is going to be this quick release lever right here. So when you remove the pressure from the bolt, you can just press that down and then just with one hand slide the entire mechanism right open. Now that it is open, if you put something in here, let's say just a uh, tape measure for example, you can put that in there and then slide it back shut. It will ratchet back shut very quickly and now you can tighten it down fully with the actual handle. So for a homeowner or DIYer, this would be a good option and I actually plan on using this in some of the videos so you will be able to see a long term use to see how it's going to hold up. So what we're going to do now is actually mount that to the bench. We're going to line the rear jaw up with the rear jaw of the blue vise that I use in many of my videos. So if I have a long piece of material I'm working with, I'll be able to lock it into both vices and make sure it's very sturdy. Okay, I just pre-marked the mounting holes. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill those out so we can run some bolts down through here. Okay, I got all four holes drilled. I'm going to go ahead and set the vise in place, make sure everything's lined up correctly, and now we're going to go ahead and pop some bolts in. So I do have fairly long bolts. I did not get grade 8 for this, but the bolt head on them are 14 millimeters, so for the minimal use this is going to get and the low pressure use, it's not going to be any problem at all. If this is going to be your sole vise, I would highly suggest getting grade 8 bolts because you are going to be pretty much unable to bend them or shear them off. So just sliding these right into place, I'm going to take all four of them, slide them down, then hand thread these on the bottom. I'll then hold the nut on the bottom with a wrench and I'm going to use the Milwaukee right angle impact to tighten everything up. Okay, everything's nice and installed now. Let me go ahead and tighten these screws down. <clears throat> and you can see everything's going to be held in place very well. It's not moving at all side to side. I cannot twist it. And you can see you can tighten it down with full force and it's not breaking free. But what we're going to do is just pop this open just slightly, just so we're taking the tension off. You can pull that lever straight down and the whole thing's going to ratchet right out. Now that you have it ratcheted out, you can just put any piece of wood or anything in here and ratchet it right back shut. And then when it gets fully shut, then you're just going to turn the lever and it's going to tighten everything down. So it really is a single hand quick release vise and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it already. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put some different pieces of wood, metal and just different things in here. We're going to do some different testing with it to make sure it's going to hold in place and it's not actually going to let go on us. Now we're going to take a look at how that quick release mechanism actually works. And what it's going to do is split the nut that's holding the bolt. So when I press the lever down, you can see it actuate. It's going to split the nut and that's going to allow the shaft to move in or out very easily. Now let's say you move it all the way out and then release. It's going to click back shut and then if we close the vise, you can watch it ratchet. So if we ratchet it, it's going to stop wherever we need it to and then we can start turning the bolt 
and it's going to turn internally inside that split nut that is now being forced back together. Now the yellow mounting base on this is a 360 degree swivel base. So you can just loosen up the screws on either side and now the entire vise will rotate 360 degrees. So however you need it to stop, it will, and then you can just tighten those little screws up on the side and it's going to lock everything back in place nice and tight. Okay, for the first test, I'm going to put an 8 foot long 2x4 in here, clamp it down, and then drill some 1 inch holes in it with the Makita. Now we'll go ahead and cut the end of this off with the M18 fuel Sawzall. Using some pretty thick sheet metal that I use in some of the demo videos, I'm going to go ahead and slap this in here now. And then with a metal cutting blade on the Sawzall, we'll go ahead and cut through this. Now this should vibrate a lot more than the 2x4 did, so we'll see if it's going to pop that split nut open. Nope, the sheet metal just bent around and uh, you can see it held tight in the vise and uh, absolutely nothing's loose. Now one limitation that I ran across when I was looking for things to clamp down in this for the testing is the fact that it does not have any jaws to hold pipe in place like my larger vise does. So if you took let's say a one inch piece of electrical conduit, you place that in the vise and then shut it, it's just going to close over top of the piece of pipe and there's no way to tighten this down. So your other option would be to move it up to the jaws, but when you put any pressure on it, it would just crush the sides of the pipe in, damaging it. So if you need to cut up a lot of pipe, or really any pipe at all, you might want to take that into consideration that this vise is not going to be able to hold on to pipes for you. Now the biggest draw for me for having two vices relatively close to each other on the same workbench is the fact that when I'm working with very long material, whether that's a long 2x6 like this, or a long piece of metal, I can crank it down first in the cobalt vise, and then using the Olympia vise, I can then just ratchet it back shut, tighten it up, and then the entire 8 foot long workpiece is going to be nice and secure. So now you've seen Olympia Tools single hand quick release vise for yourself. And even though this is rated at being a 6 inch vise, you need to keep in mind that the cobalt vise over here that I use in almost all my reviews is also a 6 inch vise, and it is much larger. So this is not a large vise by any means. If you have a small workbench, it will fit perfectly on there. And it only comes in at about 25 pounds. Now, my point of concern with this as far as a longevity issue is going to be those springs that hold that split nut together. Because I think with extended use or any moisture damage, they will break before anything else. Now, this does have a lifetime guarantee on it through Olympia. So if that does break, they should fix that for you free of charge. Now the other thing I want to point out is the fact that it cannot hold pipes. So if it can hold a pipe, it's going to do it in a way that will damage the pipe. And it does not have the pipe jaws such as the cobalt. So if you're just a DIY or homeowner and you're looking for a small vise, this may be a good option for you. But if you are a mechanic or a professional, you want to definitely go with something a little more heavy duty. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.